Hello everyone, welcome to PC Building Simulator. Um, today we're jumping right into it. We're making a, uh, a decently overpowered computer. Um, so for those who don't know, this game, this game, it's exactly what it sounds like. PC Building Simulator, build computers. Um, we're gonna be doing right into the PC Building computers in the Raging Tech, the, the Enyo. Nope. Okay, we're building here on the Raging Tech Enyo. Um, we're gonna do like so many GPUs. I don't know, I'm deciding on which desk to use, but we're gonna do like a whole bunch of GPUs. That's the plan. We're gonna have like, I think four is about the max in this game. And we're gonna try and water cool all of it. Um, and I guess we'll just, we'll see where we go with that. I already have custom radiators made. Maybe at some point I'll switch these out for different fans, but I do like these radiators here. So we're gonna install these radiators. We're gonna have, the plan is, cause you can fit two reservoirs in this PC. The plan is to have two loops, one for GPU, one for CPU, right? So, um, I mean, yeah, I'm just gonna start by getting in the motherboard here. Um, the motherboard has to support, uh, has to support SLI, no, Crossfire. <clears throat> um, and then we just pick which one we want. So the problem here is that it needs to have four PCIe slots. And so this is not good then. Um, we can do Crossfire and SLI, there we go. Um, so the PCE sets are a little like this. You can see one in there, and there's two closer to them than one there. Those aren't going to be good. We need one like this, where they're all spread out, or like this one. So I'm kind of going to go through here and pick. Um, this one's a actually a decent board. This might be good. Um, go to the more expensive side of things. Okay. Let's see. Those ones are too close. But this one, that's an AM5 board. This one's too close. I would like to do Threadripper, ideally. So let's see what we can get with this. Um, I think we're going to end up doing this board here. So I can find a different board that's this one might work. ETX 600 megahertz, 600 megahertz got fossil high. This one's more expensive, so you know that's. And they're both like the exact same. That one's tier four. This one's tier four. I saw an X an S tier four somewhere. Yeah, this one. Maybe I didn't. Okay. Because you can't put these GPUs next to each other. Um, I can't remember which one I was that I was going to do. We can't do this one. This is fine. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll do the ROG board. It may look okay in this case. We'll see. Ooh, what kind of picture is that? Wow, that is. Kind of hurts a little bit to look at. That. Wow. You can see where the devs kind of slacked on MOBOs this game. So. There we go. Okay, let's get our CPU installed here. Um, how many cores we got here? We got 24, 8, 12, 16, 32. I'll do 32 cores, 3000 megahertz. So that should be fine. I wish I could do the SDRX4. Give me a minute. I'm going to look for a different motherboard. Okay, guys, I have found a motherboard. This one is not a Threadripper board, but it has the nice, evenly spaced out PCIe slots and the, it's got it's got the newest AM5 compatibility, so it's not going to be as beastly looking as the other ones, but um, you know we'll see. So let's get some storage in here real quick. Just you know the greatest and fastest. We can do a four terabyte drive, sure. Yeah, we can do that. Um, CPU. Let's get our CPU installed here. Uh, base frequency. Why don't we just crank that up until we get okay? Um, 12 core. Yes, of course. We want the best of the system. Get stop things up here. Let me let me select cables here. Um, this is gonna be a red build. We're doing plastic red. There we go. Let me pack everything up here. Doesn't sort of black anyways, but okay. Let me just uh, go in here. Um, let's turn that one back on. There we go. All right. Let's get to GPUs next. I guess I gotta remember what we do for GPUs here in the system. Um, they need to have multiple GPU of Crossfire. Um, then we just crank up the frequency. There we go. Okay, so we got 1900 megahertz here. They're all Crossfire boards. Um, I'll go with these ones because they're the most expensive, right? So this is not a video on making the most expensive computer in PC Building Simulator 2, but it's going to be up there in the rankings. If we enable our tooltip here real quick. You can see that with just these components, 
we are already at almost $10,000. So, like, that's two thick radiators, some chonky radiators, four GPUs, which kind of makes sense, and then, you know, see everything. We haven't even got, like, a power supply in here or anything. So, yeah, this is going to get quite expensive. Just do a little bit. I don't really care about my throne paste pattern, so we'll just chuck that on there. CPU blocks. What do we got? I'll do this one. That matches the... Um... Yeah, it kind of matches the, the blocks there. But yeah, it'll look nice. Okay, and then we'll get our pumps and reservoirs in here. Doing the biggest reservoirs. Okay, there we go. Um, I guess next we'll get power supply in here. We're going to do a 1600 watt power supply. Because, you know, you got to be able to power all those GPUs, right? Put that down there. You can, it's kind of cool. You can put it in two different slots, but I don't think you can. I don't think you can actually put them both in. Yeah, you can't. It's not. It's not available. You can't put them both in there. Okay, that's kind of sad. Um, cable some stuff up here. Real quick, just kind of these all up here real quick. There we go. Got the. So there's a previously a bug in this game that wouldn't allow you to connect this left reservoir, which this is why I was waiting to do this video is because. That bug has just been fixed with the newest update that came out. So, look at that. It's just solid filled by PCA slots. That looks crazy. Okay. Um, piping wise, we're going to do black rigid pipes. I found I can get really cool look with that. We're going to do black, what's a black nickel? Um, like that. And then accept. Like that. That. I have to remove that. I have to rebound all my keys now. My keys are all messed up. Um, I can't pipe. There we go. That's gonna have to go back to the radiator back there. Um, to lower. Oh, what? what was that? Let's move the corner here. Okay. Get this all water piped up here. There we go. That looks decent-ish. Why is there so many corners right in this one spot? There's like four corners right here. <laughs> um, just, there we go. That looks better. And then you can get this guy leveled. So we're kind of going into that case hole right there. That that's lined up with that. And that guy up there. Okay, so it's looking decent now. Um, we're gonna take that guy there. For this corner for now. There we go. Sweet. Alright. I think that pipe is done. Looks decent. I guess it could look better, but gonna call that one good and then I need to go out of the radiator into the pump with our right side I think is gonna be the chief fuel loop it just makes sense in my mind um, so we're gonna come out of this radiator into the pump this is gonna be a hard run to make questions is do I I'm thinking I'm gonna can I fit the tube there or do I go over the, the back like it's doing right now I don't know I'm gonna remove that corner there that's the way that's like level. There we go. That looks. I can't really tell. I'm if it, I don't. This might. This might take a while to get this loop right here. Um. I don't know how I want to do this. All right. Give me a minute. I'll be back. Okay. I think that this pipe is done. Those are definitely different, but I can change that at some other time. I think that that looks good though. And we gotta come out of here into this guy. I gotta put more case fans in this thing. I kind of, I've kind of completely ignored the case fans part of this because this case is just, I'm not used to it. It's such a weird case to build in. But now I'm just gonna get this line ran here. That one, nice and easy. Right now before I forget, I'm gonna throw some case fans in here real quick. Um, sense of the computer that it is. I forget what brand the fan is. The Gamer Storm. Yes, these ones, we're gonna do, yeah. That's gonna definitely 
just increase the value of this computer 100%. So we're gonna, um, usually I can put a radiator down here, but I guess I'll put the fans here. I have to wire this all mid -made. These fans are gonna be a pain to wire in. There's not even a point putting case fans in this case, because nothing is, like, needing airflow other than, like, the VRMs, maybe. But, like, even the VRMs have, like, this beefy, like, heat pipe cooler and everything on it, so, like, it doesn't... I don't know. Like, there's nothing... Like, there's no... The GPUs don't need air or whatever, because they're... Water cooled and everything. All the air flow is happening around the back. I might change those radiators. I don't know if I like those. Um, fans across the top here, real quick. Get these in here, and then I got a cable all on. That'll be fun. So I kind of cool fans. They're like 200 bucks each, though. 60 bucks. Okay, I a little bit off there, I guess. Oh, that looks. This computer is coming together. I right, give them a minute. I got cables all together. All right. Well, it doesn't look pretty, but they're all like there's like some wires here and everything, but they're all cable managed together, and they should all turn on. Ooh, a little, little teaser there in that one. Okay, let's. How do I? I don't know how I'm gonna do the CPU loop yet. I think I'm gonna come out of the CPU here into the radiator. If I can, I'll go up and over in the back, and then over here into there. So I can get that to work. Where is it? How's it gonna route me? There again. Oh, that's fun. Oh, that Go up like that. And then we're just gonna have to remove like 98% of the corners on this because they are all messed up. Okay. I can get this so it's not red. There we go. Makes life a little bit easier. There we go. There's so many corners. I get the general general route done here. Okay. Sure. Um, remove half of these corners down here. Okay, so we're colliding with it over here now. Um... I have this over here. Okay, bring this down a little bit. Now we're hitting with the radiator. Okay, get that guy. That. Still, oh, it's not quite what I was looking for. There we go. Still gotta bring it down a little bit. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Now it's like right in the middle of that wire, though. That's kind of annoying. I guess I might have to rewire that and see if that's gonna. Still like flat. It's like weird. Depending on the way you look at it, it's different. But I think. Okay. I'm just gonna have to delete that wire and I'll. See if it'll go around it next time when it auto wire manages. That actually doesn't look bad, just like sitting there. Everything looks pretty square. So that wire does kind of just sit underneath there. It actually kind of works. Yeah. I'll leave that for now. That was probably the easier of the runs. I got to figure out how to get that one down to here. That's going to be a little bit on the annoying side. So that's why I'm not going to do that yet. We're going to do this one. Alright. Um. Go down alongside of the GPUs. There we go. Get that there. That's not straight. There we go. This one down. Beautiful. And what about? Oh, there's just pipes everywhere in the system. The pipes look. Let's look at that. Like the pipes look kind of weird when you overlap. Oh my god. But, anyways, now I gotta do that pipeline. Uh, why don't we install coolant? Coolant sounds like it's fun to install. We're gonna do red coolant. If you couldn't tell, this is already a red themed build. We're gonna do GPU loop will be red. I guess we'll just make it all red. Maybe at some point we'll change it. But 
to watch it travel through the long system of stuff. I think it's, this is one of the cooler cases because it has the tool, the dual loop, the dual um, reservoirs. You could fill the little blocks there. Coming around back, go to the little case hole. There we go. Down, fills the radiator instantly. It's just how that works. Um, and then we're done. Okay, this is kind of what I've been dreading, but we'll see how this goes. It's probably gonna help me around here somewhere, but I don't want it to. Oh, actually, it wasn't too bad. It's kind of like the base path. Okay. All right, I'm gonna finish this loop. Give me a minute. Okay, the CPU loop is now done. Put some more red opaque coolant in there. This is gonna be a much shorter loop here. So I went up and around here. Oh, I didn't even notice I went through the cable. I gotta see if it'll change that too. I gotta re cable manage that. I'm just gonna go through here and it's gonna go around the back, move across the top of the radiator. You guys saw me do that part already. Um, it's gonna go fill the radiator instantly again. Position this big radiator. Sorry about the noise. There's a thunderstorm in the back. Um, big thunderstorm outside. Um, and then back into the back into the reservoir. So, real quick, I'm going to unplug these two and see if it'll recable them for me. Uh, that would be a no. Well, I was getting a little lucky on that anyways. Um, there is a lot of tubing in the system, and I think that it looks really cool. Anyways, power. There we go. Touch the wrong button. Let's uh, go into the BIOS here. I didn't put any RAM in the system. Uh, can I even put RAM in the system now? I am off task, man. I that I, great impression for a first video. Yeah, let's um let's install some RAM, shall we? Um, I like this Trident Zero. It's eight gigabyte, forty hundred megahertz. Oh, it's a bot thing. There we go. It is really thunderstorming outside. Uh, Trident Zero. Eight gigabytes, forty hundred megahertz. Was it? Is that what I was seeing? Let me check here. I think it's this one. Yes, it is. Good. We'll install that again. Alright. RAM is now in the system. This is a bright computer. Let's go into the... Oh, no, that's, that's fine. Uh, let's just power cycle it again. Go into the BIOS here. Uh, give her some 4800 megahertz. I might um, just... Get a little more voltage here. Yeah, that's only gonna help our problems. Um, install boot drive. All right, and then of course we gotta replace our monitors to match the theme. They don't have. They do have a red monitor. Look at that. It's not the same color red, but eh, close enough. All right, let's get lighting installed here. Get this set up. Select all. And do static. I could do breathing too. I guess I only know which one's better. Let's see here. Oh yeah, that's a bright system. Put on side panels here, and then I'll run three mark stuff. Yeah, those fans didn't turn out too bad. I don't know. Not my favorite. I just don't want to rerun the, rerun all the pipes, so that's why. Uh, that's why I haven't done that yet. This kind of just destroys it, doesn't it? it? Gives it like the finished look, but I don't know. I, it's weird that the entire back is open and most of the top too. I don't know, it looks, it looks better with the side panel off, but at the same time it looks unfinished. So with the side panel off. Guys, I'm gonna run 3 mark real quick. Okay guys, we're back. I haven't yet seen the score, but it is finished. Should we go, let's go check it here. 32,000. I mean, I haven't, I've built computers in this game before, but I guess I haven't really, I don't have any other computer in this uh, pre-build to, to compare it to. But that, from experience, that's a pretty high, like, I got a 42,000 graphics score. It's just a CPU that was horrible. So, maybe in a future video, we will, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll try and overclock the CPU. Maybe even the GPU, too. I don't know. Depends. Um, thanks for watching the video. This was, um, I, I hope to see more of the series. I might end up doing a campaign at some point. I hope you guys want to see more of this, too. Um, but I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.